everyone, it's Elaine, and yes, I know I have been missing in action for a couple of weeks. I just got back on Saturday from the annual Creative Crafters Retreat that I co-host. Now, let me tell you, it was super fun this year, super fun. Um, our venue was fun, it was beautiful. Our setup was so much better than it has been before, and yeah, it was a ton of fun. So much fun that some of them want to do a second one before the August one in 23. So with that being said, real quick, I'm going to put the dates in that I hope that we can make. And I noticed that my one light is not on, so let me take care of that real quick here. Um, we are going to make the attempt to do one in March, and then I will have my annual one in August. So if you have never been to a retreat and you would like to reach out to me, please do. The focus of the retreat is mostly junk journals. But I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to turn you away. Um, this year we did have one scrapbooker, one card maker, and then one lady decided not to do junk journals, and she does beautiful ones. She decided to work with jewelry. Some folks just worked on their ephemera, and of course, you know, many worked on their junk journals. Um, it was fun. We had some new people that brought interesting things to the retreat. And with that being said, these are the new dates. Um, I'm hoping that at least a handful of the people from the one in August will join us here in March. But if not, that's okay too. We're going to make this one just as much fun. So again, you can reach out to me um, via Facebook, via right here on YouTube. Um, and if you want to join, um, you will need to friend request me so that when I do put the group up, that'll just be for this retreat, um, I can add you. <laughs> but in the meantime, I will answer as many questions as I can so that you feel comfortable um, in joining us. And what I'm also going to do is if for some reason I have people next August that cannot come, if you come to the March one, you are going to have first dibs on coming to the one in August also. All right. Um, I do many retreats a year personally myself and, you know, yeah, it, it's fun. We had 11 different states represented this year. So the the um, second one in August, and this is the one I have done it five times now. Um, so next year will be my sixth year. So I think I got things figured out. All righty. But what I want to do right now is I want to do a quick video. I'll say that. Ha, ha, ha. Um, on the goodies that we got, one thing that I do ask everyone to do is bring, you can either purchase, you can gather, or you can make a goodie for every person that's there. And we put a different spin on that this year, and it was a lot more fun, I thought, also. Um, these were the welcome gifts that I gave. There's all kinds of goodies in the cup. And they're not junk goodies to me. They are actually goodies that you can use. Folding scissors, emery boards. I always give um, earplugs in case your um, roomie is sleeping very well. Um, some clothespins to wrap fabric, I mean lace with. And some um, vintage cards. And there was more in here, but I think it might have fallen out with me trying to get everything home. Now, here's what I'm about to do. I have not opened my goodies since the retreat. I put them all in one box together so I could sit down and do this video. 
So please be patient with me and we're about to do this. Um, here is the first goodie I got and it is a one signature junk journal and it is beautiful. You know she put a lot of work into it and she's pretty new at this too. And then um, everyone was asked to bring a homemade goodie and include the recipe to it. So there is my first one. And let's see here. All right, this is the person that was um, the scrapbooker. So what she did is she made us a Christmas ornament. And it's like, I don't know, like 48 pieces of fabric and, and like 200 and some straight pins so that was one of our goodies and i know the paper it's a rustling oh i know we also had someone that her focus is usually when she's at home and she does paint pours so this was a glass that she did she made a glass for everyone <clears throat> and here is mine with her paint pour on it um and then she blinged it out for us let me put this to the other side so I don't break it. All right, let's see what's next. All righty, this was a recipe, and then um, I think she had found these patchworks at um, Goodwill, so she gave everybody one of them. This is kind of like all surprises again. Oh, this was a needle keep. Oh, how pretty. And I also, if you'd watched my video earlier, I also gave a needle keep. Alrighty, so that is that. Very, very pretty. And I'm not saying any names, um, not for any particular reason other than privacy. <clears throat> Alright, this was an envelope that someone made out of a paper bag, and this was her recipe. And the bag, the way it is done, it actually gives you two pockets. Okay? So that was adorable, I thought. This... Excuse me, my computer I see is skipping. This was also a show and tell. And um, it's full of all kinds of goodies in here. And I'm not going to unwrap it right now. Um, but, yeah. So this, this is on canvas. Oh, let's see here. All right, this one, um, excuse me, this one, everything on the container is done with repositionable tape so you can pop it off and put it in a journal. And then it's got all kinds of other little goodies inside of it. Um, so that was one. This was one of our morning goodies from my co-hostess. Um, let's see. Alrighty, here we go. And I hope I have everything in the pile. So I'm going to go ahead and say, ladies, if I forgot something, um, I sure am sorry if I if something is not in the pile here and something is tickling my, my arms. She did a um, kind of a... slide thing but it's actually a card and then of course her recipe that goes back down in here <clears throat> move this out of the way all right and i promise you i'm really going as fast as i can um this is a, a bag of ephemera like i said all kinds of goodies and if you recall i did and there's some more in here um if you recall, I did say that we could purchase. Uh, most people don't. We, you know, since it is a crafty retreat, we do try to craft. <laughs> or you can gather things that we can use for later. Or um, things. Now this, I had a ton of tile samples last year. And this lady took them and, you know, some... Um, stickers and stuff to them so we can have a little thing that sits up you know in our craft area to remind us of trying to be good people 
put that in there. And let's see here. This was a digital, and her name is on here, so I'm going to try to be careful. Her name is on there. And then her recipe, and then she takes vintage envelopes, and she either adds the vintage, like, lace or the doilies, and then she does a French knot with her own style to it. And people went wild over that, and I knew that they would. So she did a little demo for us. See here, here we go. This is a little journal, um, accordion journal. And the person that did that it also was the person that gave this. And then her recipe was inside. All right, let's keep going here. Let's see. And so here we have another little notebook. And I'm just going to see if I can slide this off. Maybe I'll, I guess now I'm going to untie it. And it is a little mini journal. Pockets and flips. Yay. And then this one, this individual made this for everybody for all the recipes we got. And either you could write them on the recipe cards or you could tuck the recipe in there. So I thought that was really special. She thought about what we were doing at the retreat and came up with something. Now look at this envelope. I hope my computer isn't skipping and jumping and my voice is sounding funny. It's been a couple weeks since I've turned it on to use it. Alright, this is kinds of other goodies in here. And I believe she said that she um, took this napkin and I think this is saran wrap on it. And it's really pretty and it feels nice in my hands. Um, so I thought that was fun. And then, let's see, someone put together these fun clipboards for us and then gave us all kinds of little goodies attached to it. Remember, this is all about paper crafting. And then, I'm not sure if this is really my last one or not. Sorry, I'm knocking the microphone off crazy. Um, but this was one bag of all kinds of ephemera and such and then that individual also gave us this one she has a lot of stuff and she's been trying to de-stash so and then we have this bag also all righty and then her recipe was back there and let's see i think it doesn't sound right but sing anything thing and then someone gave me this little um zipper bag and um, it looks homemade to me. <laughs> and then I'm trying to think. I did, um, if you looked at my Monopoly cards, that was a morning goodie. I had done a previous video on that. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this in camera. But I'm a Wonder Woman junkie. And so my friend Annette gave me this big old purse with Wonder Woman stuff in it. And then this big old goblet which isn't that fun. And then she gave me all kinds of, um, here's another, this, um, I actually purchased, it had sewing stuff in it, and I'm going to try to do a sewing journal, and, uh, this playing cards with Wonder Woman, oh, I just realized I was supposed to send these to you. And then it's got all kinds of playing cards in it because I do collect playing cards. And she gave me a Wonder Woman figurine. And then some more playing cards and some more playing cards. <laughs> and anyway, so that is it. And uh, like I said, if you would like to join us at the next retreat, um, reach out to me. I would love to have you. Um, normally, I try to do a video every Tuesday evening. I've been slowing up with that a little bit and busy doing a lot of stuff and um at this last retreat i did get some orders for my lace stained paper so i'm going to be putting it together so i have that happening too but reach out to me on my facebook i have a page a group my private facebook i'm also giving instagram a better chance in case you didn't hear i'm on the design team now for sweet pea curiosities so I'm going to have that going on. 
and then eh, I don't do much with Twitter and I try not to go down that rabbit hole as much as I used to. And then I do have my small Etsy shop. So with that being said, again, reach out, see if you have some friends that would like to meet up with you in Northern Alabama. And if so, you know, let me know and uh, I'll give you more information. And then, like I said, when I put the group together, um, if I ha end up with enough people for this second one, I will, um, I'll, I'll have you join. And then you can find out all the details and everything that way. Um, I do, a, I kind of do my retreats with a different spin as far as giving you information and stuff is concerned, okay? Um, and that's it. I know I've rambled, but I hope you enjoyed looking at we got. They are much better in person and when you're, someone's not moving so fast. So again, I appreciate you very much for coming by. And I will see you down the road. See you on the flip side. Bye.